because we're sort of going to keep moving because the sky is looking alarmingly <laughs> black and from my experience living in Surface Paradise, that sky there, that colour of the sky is not good news and any second that could actually buck it down. So we're going to head, at the moment we're, um, we are, this, this um, road's Elkhorn Avenue, so at the moment we're on Elkhorn Avenue, we're just going to cross the road here and then we're going to be um, on the Esplanade and we're going to turn right and we're going to go across there. So we um, are hoping to get out of a big deluge because we do live in Queensland and if there is a big deluge, it is bad news, like it just buckets down. Like it, it really buckets down. So that's what I'm in a hurry about at the moment. Actually, we might. Actually, there's a really big lump of dark cloud there. But, so it is still drizzling. I mean, it is drizzling a little bit, but that bit is lighter. So we might okay. escape it. I tell you what, though, if you don't escape it, it's like in the shower. It's honestly like being in the shower. You're wet in three minutes. And me and Spencer so have been caught in the rain before. In fact, it is starting to drizzle. <laughs> I reckon it's going to fuck it down like right now. Okay, well, let's go. Let's get moving. Yeah, so that big bit there. So we're going to race along here. And then once we get to the shop place, I think we'll be okay. But, um, yeah, I did, I did suspect that. But unfortunately, this is the earliest we could get out this morning because, well, when you live with a few people, one of those, <laughs> a toddler, <laughs> things can take a little while. Yeah, okay, we're going to keep going. All right, I think... Just get to the end of here and then once we turn right we'll be sort of in the shop, the shop so that'll be alright. But I love it up here on the beach. It is so nice. Even if it's drizzling, it's so nice. We're so lucky in Circle Paradise. I did actually have a couple of things to say in this live stream, but at the moment I'm a little bit more um, just thinking that we need to keep moving through the little We might even cross the road here. Anyway, so even if it does start going down, we're, we're fine. We're all good. We're sort of home and hose now. 
We're outside McDonald's. I mean, you know, that's always your home and home if you go outside McDonald's. <laughs> and I think this one's open 24-7. Yeah. Yeah. But um, actually, the reason, well, just, I mean, to say hello anyway. But there was a couple of things I wanted to say in this live stream. So I'm very excited because I'm sort of, I mean, Spencer's now two, so that, that you know, I mean, I do still have, him. obviously, he's at home most of the time, like, um, you know, three days a week, he's at home with me. But I'm kind of really excited and looking forward to getting into a little bit of work again. And so I've got an upcoming interview with Liam Pingree, and he, you can look him up on LinkedIn, but he's the CEO, I think CEO and co-founder of Neuronic and red light therapy and red light therapy benefits and devices have been really my love child right from the beginning. Like it was probably the, the biggest thing that I then wrote an article about and it got a lot of traction and a lot of interest for its healing benefits for Parkinson's and Alzheimer's and it's definitely been shown to help with those um, you know, just with the brain cell healing and all of that. Like, and also, it's really interesting with red light therapy helmets. It's attracting a new demographic. And that is people that are probably around maybe my age or even younger, in their 30s, 40s, 50s. That sort of demographic that are at work and are really trying to maximise brain health. So, you know, they haven't been diagnosed with dementia although I get accused of being there. <laughs> I get accused of being, having the med shots. My brain is just a spaghetti bowl. But it is attracting that demographic. 40s, you know, um, even 20s people are really, we're sort of doing a shift, I think, in society. And I think that came from um, actually even the schoolies this year when I saw the headline that schoolies are swapping, just, you know, getting drunk and sleeping in for sunshine and smashed avocado. So I think all a lot of society and most demographics are doing a shift to healthy living and understanding the importance of sort of showing up to life feeling your best, you know, living your best life, living your best life. I know that's a bit of a cliche, but I think it is a little bit like that. So these red light therapy devices or these helmets that have really been shown on very interestingly, real life scans and MRI scans, they've been shown to increase circulation in your blood, in your skull, sorry. They've been shown to make physiological changes. We're actually in the rain here, so we might get into shelter. They've been shown to make these physiological changes in your, in your brain, and they can actually see that happening on MRI. So it is scientifically based. Oh, we are getting into the shower now. Let's pop in here. Oh, next stop, Krispy Kremes. You also know to be home and host when you're outside Krispy Kremes. See, we've got all the best stuff here in Surfers. We've got <laughs> we've got McDonald's, we've got Krispy Kremes. I mean, talk about living your best life, you know. You can't get any better than that. <laughs> but um, yeah, so they're attracting this new demographic of people that are interested in maximising their brain health. So you see these, you know, CEOs, entrepreneurs, people running businesses wearing these red light helmets at their desk at work. So I'm actually really excited. So I think Liam is, is a perfect representation of that demographic as well. But of course, and also they've got a clinical trial and um, they were a month ago, you can see on LinkedIn, a month ago they were wanting participants for their clinical trial and that is testing again these helmets for, I mean they're, they're doing just ongoing testing, but testing these helmets for um, dementia. So they've got known benefits, people obviously use them for skin health as well. I've got red light therapy devices at home, but obviously as the science improves they're really honing in the strength of the wavelengths and the time required to um, have them on your head and just all of that. So, oh, a council worker is coming. Hi. <laughs> so I'm actually really excited. So I've got an interview coming up with him. So look out for that. They've actually got a really a new device coming out too. So Liam's really excited about talking about that. And he's actually going to be in Rome, 
when I do the interview and I think he's had a big conference in New York City so Neuronic is really going places so I'm very excited about that because I'm kind of you know looking forward to doing a little bit of work even though I don't want to rush the mummy days I mean I'm always a mum obviously but I mean the toddler days I told you my brains is really bold because hanging out with this guy is just the best like it's so good He's actually already been for an early morning walk this morning with Daddy and Piper, so they went out for a walk. While I was actually using my red light therapy lamp. I really was this morning, that's my routine. If I've got time, but time is so pushed now. Like, I can't tell you. Um, well, I, well, anyone with a toddler knows how time is so tight. So I. I I was using my trifolar stop the X basically, which is another really good device that I love. And this is the best kebab store ever. We, we buy their chips. Their chips are, you, you won't believe how good their chips are. Oh, they're busy, I was going to say hello. You, would, you won't believe how good their chips are until you taste the chips in there. I was really surprised. Like, Amity wanted to buy some the other morning. And, um, and they're run, it's run by such awesome our family but um yeah you wouldn't believe how good the chips are they just look like normal chips i think it's something to do with the seasoning and i don't know just the way they they cook them or something but anyway so rainy look i knew i did suspect i didn't think the rain was going to last this long but i think it's kind of steady it a little while so we're under shelter and there's beautiful trees here i actually love this part of surface paradise it's it's just beautiful and i think we'll be sort of making a dash. Well, we'll walk across here because we'll actually walk along, we'll, we'll go a different way this way. We'll cross here. Usually I'll go down that part when we're running out, so we'll move. Usually, actually we can cross here. Usually I'll go down that road, but we might go along that street there because there's a bit more shelter. You do get to know where there's shelter, but yes, it is raining. 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 It is Oh, yeah, she's set in. <laughs> she's set in. I didn't think it was actually going to get this heavy for this long, but yeah, I think it's set in for a little bit. So we're going to go across here. Do you know, and I desperately need to go shopping. That's another thing you don't get to do as a mum much. I mean, new dress. Anyone need notice the new colour? It's the same dress, but a new colour. Isn't that smart? When you find something that you're comfortable in, just get a whole stack of them in different colours because then it feels like you've got a new dress. Oh, we're on the shelter again. Well, I think we're probably going to have to say goodbye, actually, because look, you can see it dripping there. That's how heavy it's getting. There we go. She is coming down. So anyway, guys, I just wanted to say hello. And to let you know that, yes, a very exciting interview is coming for the channel soonish. I mean, I'm doing it this week, but then I think Liam wants to hold off on actually bringing it out um, until I think they're ready to launch the new device that they've got anyway. But he's going to have some really interesting things to say, so I look out for that. But anyway, it was really awesome to see you guys this morning. Thank you so much for all your support, and I hope you have a nice day. and. I was, I was gonna say I hope it's not raining where you are, but to be honest, I love rain. I actually really love rain. Rain, rain is my favourite weather. I really like it. So we're gonna have a good weekend, and I hope you do too. Bye. <laughs>